hello guys this is a phonics today we are going to look at 8 by 40 dot matrix text scroller using max 7219 ic just like what you are seeing here and this project idea came from mr jovi my friend from nigeria and we did this project together and we thought it fits that um it will be better we share it so that others will also gain from this so if you gain from this project then know that it is an idea for mr jovi so now i have two important message for you one is that thank you for subscribing to Afronix, and the other one is that just watch the video until the end because at the end of this video we will show you step by step on how to get this purchase file and also the code for this project so just stay tuned all right now it's time for the explanation of this project how does it work all right so here is the microcontroller we put our code here and we want it to display on the matrix okay then this one will be the one to select the pattern on how the text should be displayed how the letters should be displayed like a how it should be displayed on this matrix as we can see here we have one two three four five matrix and each matrix like this is a let us let me take this part out as we can see see this is one metric and it is um eight by eight matrix so this is eight by eight so if we multiply all together here will be 40 and then here will be eight that was eight by 40. all right so how does it display so we want a text to be shown here and it will be scrolling coming from this one move to the other matrices so how can we do that if we look here we have the clock and then we have the data in the data in that the program you'll be sending to this microcontroller will be moving out of this data in and then this ld which is the load then it will be coming out of here so it will be selecting this pattern on how it should be done so the selection is done by this process we have a to g right then these are the digital output which will be connected to this matrix okay? so after the text has been entered here so it will be displaying on this first matrix okay so when it's when it is scrolling it means that this has to handle it and how does that happen by using this d out so we send the data out and then it will be entering here with this q1 here is q1 q1 so this data will be moving out of here the load and the clock will be the same it will be tapping it from the arduino but the data in from the arduino will enter here displayed and it will scroll move out of this point and then move to the other and, and enter into the second ic and that will be this it will be displayed on the second matrix it will be put a scroll move out to the other so that's how the sequence works so now let us implement one and see so since this this is five so let us add another matrix which will be six so let us collect this push it a little bit so we go to matrix mind you i'm using this eight by eight matrix then put it here and we we'll use this max put it here okay so it's time for us to work with this max so how do we select the inputs you know these ones will be the input this one will be output and these others will be the output so we go to this terminal go to input and then place All right. then we need output right so we go to output rotate it so that it will be this way so this one will be connected here because this one has to link with this other okay this one if you want to add extra then you can use this one 
Next, we need power to power this up. Good. Then we need output, right? For these ones. All right. So we are done. We try to label, and our label stop at this point. As we can see, the sequence here is G H I J. So K L, right? So we start naming our K1 from here. But first of all, we name it. Let us name this one as. The other one is Q4. This one will be Q5. Alright, so Q5. So this data in the in will be called as Q5. Good. So the other one will be load, which is LD. The other one will be clock CLK. Alright, so it's time for us to name this one. So this one will be starting from K1 up to K8. Then for this one, we have to start our after K we have L. So our L1 will start from here. And then L2 up to L8. Good. So next it's time for us to from here we need an input right so we come here to click on input rotate it then we start giving it here then another input again but this way we rotate it what okay uh, so let us select all this and try to align it with this one so it is now aligned so we have to label and then the first label will be the case will be at the top and the l will be at the bottom so we start from here we see our k1 L1 now we've done we've set everything so they are now corresponding with this one so our next is to upload the code here now let us go to the Arduino IDE and upload the code so now it's time for us to compile our code but first you need two libraries that is MD Max 72XX and also MD Max Parola. So if you have those libraries, no worries. But if you don't have it, just follow along. Click on tools, go to manage libraries, make sure you have internet connection. Alright, so here yeah, you just have to type MD underscore max 72 okay so here it is md underscore max 72xx so i've already installed it you just have to click on this button here installed then it will be installed the next one will be md parola so here it is md parola i've already installed it just click on this one installed okay so if you are done with that just close then go to files go to examples go right down here are the two files md paola and then md max so we are going to use paola to display to scroll our text we go to paola scrolling okay click on it it will automatically generate this code so the place we need to modify is to go right down here it says hello enter a message so i'm going to say hello welcome to Afronix. so if you want to change the speed of how the text is scrolling you can change it by using this one all right here to change the text where it says character new message okay you can enter the message in this bracket make sure it is in this quotation so you go straight and try to compile this code click on compile 
okay it says they are done compiling okay so we have to expand this and look for the hex file here is it dot hex so try to copy from here highlight from c up to hex as you can see so you click on your keyboard ctrl c to come to copy all right then we go to the put just to paste the code in the arduino all right so now we have compile our code now it's time for us to put it in that window double click where it says program file yeah program file click here Control a to select all and then Control v to paste what you have copied click on ok now let us go on and see what it will display boom as we can see it is displaying as we expect it but as we can see the text or the written is upside down so the easiest way is to stop okay highlight all the area right click then you exchange the y axis okay if you change the y mirror so you can bring it down a little bit good so then we can click play again now it is well written hello welcome to Afronix. as we can see the lights are coming and dimming you know it's not showing clearly the reason being is that if you check on my message it's saying that the simulation is not running in real time due to excessive cpu load it means i'm recording at the same time other um softwares are running in the background so the cpu is really exhausted that's why it's blinking that way but i'm sure your own will work fine so this is how you go about in displaying and scrolling your text all right so we've used added another one i'm showing the, the process now it's time for us to go and see how to download this project file and the code all right so now it's time for us to download here is the download page and mind you this page is in the description below just click it and then follow along right so now let us scroll right down these are the descriptions and it's not yet completed we will complete it as time goes on so if you go it says that how to download the purchase file and the code so it says download here this is the download button this says which says subscribe to unlock link right if you click on it a new window will open here which will navigate you to afronix youtube channel so all you have to do you have to click here subscribe if you have subscribed just like i've done it will be shown here subscribed but if you haven't what are you waiting for smash that red button now and don't forget the bell as well so after doing that go back to the previous page okay click on it scroll right down again then you will see a nice message say thanks now click to download you click on it as we can see it is downloading fine so that's how you go about in downloading this now let us go and unzip this thing okay now here is our downloaded file we just right click and say extract here Then we have the purchase file and then we have the code so you just have to run this code if you want to click just click on the purchase file the file will open like this okay so i did this one i use red instead of green all right so i use this connection for you to know that this one is connected to this and then this one also is connected to this this one is the short form of this okay good and also um you can modify this one just by putting this and also the background just like mine the one i presented with you can change the background by coming to the template and go to set design colors and also set graphics styles it's so, okay so you can do that based on your um, what you want okay mind you it's working fine and it's going slow and some things are missing for a particular period of time the reason being is that you see 
simulation is not running in real time due to excessive cpu load so i'm recording and i'm other programs running background so it's causing it to delay so guys this is how you go about about this project so just comment in the comment section below in case you've encountered any kind of problem we will reply to you as soon as possible thank you for watching this video